Well, we're back here at your CYMS. We're outside. It's the final day. It's come down to the final couple of frames. You couldn't ask for more. An exciting event, the International Challenge Trophy. One of the main uh, organisers of the event is Eddie Ingle. He was here uh, two years ago, three years ago, and uh, was one of the main men in terms of the organisation of the event. And he's back again because he's a sucker for punishment, aren't you, Ed? Oh, sure. <laughs> we love coming down here. Where else will we go? Yeah, it's a fantastic venue, I have to say. Uh, Brendan and the team down here did a lovely job. New balls, new cloths, and, and they've done up the club. So where else would you want to play? And fantastic people down here as well. Yeah, the one thing, uh, it's very welcoming, very friendly. Um, everybody comes in, everybody's respectful. And it's a real unique club in that way. There's no machines, there's no radio blaring. It's pure snooker. Yeah, well, I tell you, it's great to come down because we're all purists in the game of snooker. We love the game. And when we come down here, the people down here, so it's not one man like Brendan Cooney. There's about 20 people behind Brendan, and they do a fantastic job down here. And I said, we love coming down here. Of course, you're playing yourself, and you're in the Masters team. Just to explain to people that wouldn't be really up to speed with how the tournament actually works. There's two teams for each country. There's four Masters, which are over 40s, and then you've got four senior players, which are playing high in the rankings, and they, everyone plays a frame. Yeah, basically what happens is the four men and the four Masters, we, we decided that uh, it would be a fairer uh, reflection on all the players that's playing. All the masters are actually international, so they know their way around. There's some ex senior professionals, and the men as well are picked from the top rankings. Uh, the Northern Ireland team have uh, two ex professionals on their team as well. Um, so the talent is very strong. The people who have been playing game for the last 20 or 30 years. And the standard is high too, because you're looking at a competition that has run over two days. Um, everybody's playing a two frame match, and it's going to come down to the last couple of games. I mean, just there now, one of the, the Republic of Ireland lads had an 85 break, he was 1-0 down. He needed the 85 break, pulled it out of the bag, Brendan Thomas, so super break. And, and it just leaves us a point there. I think we're only about a point or two ahead going into the last session. And that's what everybody wants, really. They want a bit of excitement to finish it all off. And of course, then you have the closing ceremony, uh, which is the official end of the tournament. There'll be presentations, and then there's a night of celebration. Well, we all look forward to the celebration. I mean, that's why we come down and meet our friends, uh, and we, we get looked after by the Keys across the road, who's the sponsor as well for the club here. Um, but I mean, if you look at the talent that's going to be on display, we're starting the four matches all at the same time. There are four top players uh, from both sides, uh, and it's going to come down to the last match and probably the last frame before we decide who's going to be the winner of the United States National Cup. I'm not going to really, ha I suppose, hanker on sponsors, but we must mention Westbeck as well. They're the sponsors of the Irish team. Uh, they dig their hands in their pocket. They're from Glenamady in County Galway. They don't know where you all is even, probably at the best of times. So, I mean, you know, you need that kind of sponsorship. Yeah, well, it's the first time we got them involved and we're delighted to get them involved. Um, one of our friends actually contacted them and we were delighted when they contacted them. We developed a good relationship with them. Uh, and I have to say, they helped sponsor our fundraising day, which is in City West. Uh, we held an open golf day. Uh, and it's only for the help of the sponsors like them. And as I said, like the keys, these events can happen. So we're delighted to have them on board, yes. And I hope we have you back again, Ed. Thanks Look very much. To. Thanks very much. There you go, Eddie Ingle, uh, one of the main cogs in this very successful wheel they call the International Challenge Trophy. It's a wonderful tournament, and it's turned out to be beautiful weather and beautiful snooker right down to the last frame.